Merry Christmas and New Year and we are back with a new recipe. I'm Star. I'm Jack. And today we are cooking. Um, I have forgotten. Okay, <laughs> great start. I forgot the name of it. It's quite a long one. Easy. Easy, easy, pizza, 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 I accidentally calls it a stop. And he accidentally calls it that one But I haven't got the eggs in this recipe. I can't bring the fake egg out. No, that's very sad. Yeah. Oh, in case you're wondering why I'm stood here in sunglasses in the middle of yeah. winter, <laughs> which I've only just realised. Um, basically, I wear glasses, as you probably noticed in our other videos. We went on holiday. I went white right up. I went white water rafting and dropped my glasses in the water and they've gone and the only prescription glasses I now have are sunglasses so um, I would wear no glasses but I wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing and that would just be more of a disaster than normal so okay. stop onion stop onion <laughs> stop onion onion Walking board which onion? oil in there I have two onions you told me brown onion Wait. red onion both onions. Both onions. Okay, excellent. Are you chopping or am I chopping? You're chopping. Okay. I'll put the oil in the pan. Okay, you put the oil in the pan. I'll chop. Good teamwork. So I'm not sure how most people chop their onions. Can I pull both ends off like this? Not dicing. Slightly not dicing. Slightly not dicing. Okay. And then, do very dangerous. This isn't open. No. You're not going to be able to pour it like that. <laughs> Just go I've already started making a mess to it. Chop it in half and then slice the onion. Not dice the onion. So that's excellent oil splashing. Well done. So I'm ready for you with this onion. Mm. <laughs> I'll get rid of that. Yeah. Didn't need that again in a minute, I think. Shall I turn this on or wait? Um, sure. I won't be long. Yes. I couldn't find a spatula. There you go. So, I don't think we need a spatula, cool. Um, for this recipe, you will need one red onion and one brown onion. Yes. You're going to chop them, no, slice them. Yep. And pop them into a pan. Yes. You can also microwave them if you want, but we are not microwaving them due to the lack of microwave in our studio. And stood. Magic sweeping out. So, what do we need next? Um, we just need Mr. Heat up, probably, don't we? Yeah. Cheese. Okay. So, while so, Jack yeah. is, is cooking the onions, <laughs> he just keeps saying cheese at me. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm going to cheese. You're going to be grating the cheese. I'm going to grate the cheese onto my yeah. mouth plate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How much cheese do we need, Jack, for this recipe? Um, two cups. Two cups of... Two cups. Now, it says pizza cheese, so if you're in the US, it's probably pizza cheese. If you're in the UK, I don't know what pizza cheese is. It may be pre-grated cheese or... Um, yeah, I don't know what Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. cheese that goes so We're pizza. just using cheddar, mature cheddar. And we're in great... That's not normally a pizza cheese, but it doesn't melt very well. I put on cheese or toast that works, okay? Maybe it does melt. Maybe it's really different cheese. We'll just wing it. We're good. That smells really good, the onion. Thank you, my eyes. I'm just going to keep grating. While you keep bashing the onion with a spoon. Oh, Oh, right. <laughs> I reckon that's about a cup, maybe. I think it's a two. There we go, yeah. It's a two cup, so we'll just keep going.
We love your support. Thank you very much. Okay, Jack, you're in it. Oh, I've done a bit too much cheese there. I got carried away. Um, it'll do. Uh, how's your onion going? It's smelling cooked. So I'm going to set my cheese aside for a minute because we don't need that yet. Okay, I um, think it's time for sugar. Sugar, okay. How much sugar do you need? One tablespoon of and brown then, sugar. I'm glad you said that because I have very little sugar. One tablespoon yeah, I do have. Uh, you always stick the spoons together. Yeah, why not? Because I can't undo them. There we go. Alright, yep, I get it. Okay, throwing in the drawer. One. One. In there. In there. Well, sprinkle. You know, just fine. <laughs> there we go. So we are going to caramelise all these onions. Okay. We'll do that just by stirring the sugar into the onions, cooking it slightly. Oh. And then what, what am I going to be doing while you're caramelising uh, the onions? You can cut the pepperonis. Cut the pepperonis. So, we have two pepperonis. Um, I don't know if you can get pepperonis. You can use pizza pepperoni. I couldn't find any pizza pepperoni because our online shopping is a bit crazy in the UK. Um, so I have pepperonis. And if you're in the US, I don't know if you have pepperonis or anywhere else in the world at that point. So if you let me know in the comments, I'd actually be interested to find that one out. I've never seen it when we've been there. I've seen pepperoni, but not pepperoni. No. So maybe you do, maybe you don't. Well, pepperoni is just sort of snack sized pepperoni, really. And that's spicy. Yeah. You should have got a spicy one. I'm sorry I didn't get a spicy one, but you know, we're good. We're good. It'll still look the same, you guys can imagine it's spicy. That's quite small. So I'm slicing it up, it is very small. Slicing up into tiny slices. And Jack is. Still caramelizing onions. So, Jack, how do you caramelize an onion? Yeah. Sugar. Yeah. Put the sugar. Well, melt the sugar. Into the onion. And the caramel. While well, stirring it at all times so that you don't end up burning it in the pan. I'm already heated. Mhm. So we have preheated our oven to um, two hundred yeah. degrees. Two hundred degrees pan. Ah. It says two hundred degrees. And for what? I don't know what that means. Okay, well then. Um, so, so need your heater oven to some. 200 degrees Celsius. 200 degrees Celsius. Right, I've chopped up my pepperoni. Mm -hmm. I have chopped up my pepperoni. Now what? Now, well, I. Don't put that to one side as well. Is the garlic bread pre chopped? The garlic bread is pre 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 Chopped. So we've got two dishes. Um, you can dishes. use a baking tray, a dish, whatever you like. And what am I doing with these? We're going to be arranging the garlic bread. Get some garlic bread. Okay. So I'm just going to magic some garlic bread right now. Ready? Ta da! Ta -da! Uh, so um, I've literally just bought two garlic breads in a packet. That works. that works. We have got reduced fat garlic bread, which has been healthy, because this is a really healthy recipe with no fat in it. <laughs> and oh, so I'm putting one in each. Mm, you know, you, you, you separate them. Separate them. And okay. place them butters, butter, 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 butter side up. Separate them and place them butter side up. I'm not entirely sure. No, I'm not. These are butters on both sides. Is I'm just trying to degreasing anyway. Okay. Oh yes, remember to grease your trays. Or Why not? Is use sweet? buttered on both sides garlic bread because that will grease it for you. That's a genius. Oops. One side. There we go. I'm getting a bit mucky here. Why? Because I'm covered in garlic bread. Ah, oh. perfect. That fits. So this is a nice, simple, easy recipe. It will go well as a starter, maybe on. An accompaniment to your dinner. Um, That's a big Christmas. Quick little lunch. How is this Christmassy? Not a clue, but it's under the Christmas recipe. <laughs> okay, well, it's not Christmas anymore, so we'll just go with not Christmas. No, I think it's like um, an accompaniment to the dinner. That's pretty good, that. Jeez. I'm proud of that. Look, there you go. Oops. This one's not oh. buttered. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, 
anyway. Anyway, so, so now we've done this. This goes on them. Oh, okay. I think we might I, have I think it's about ready for a bit. Yeah, I'm just stirring it to them there. Shall we show the world what it looks like? Ta da! Just the onions. Shall I turn the stump off for you? It's off. Oh, good work, Jack. This so is still hot. Half on one, half on the other, spread it out. Let's see how we go. Um, you can do that. Are you not doing that? No, I'm not. No, doing. okay. Seems like a hard job. I love job. your faith in my ability to do that. Better than mine. Spread it out. Bit of onion on every piece, I reckon. Not much onion. I, I think it's it's cool, it's good. Because obviously we don't want to cover it completely with onion. No, that's a good point. We have other things to go on top. It is not just garlic bread with caramelised onion, it is garlic bread with caramelised onion and some other things. You're meant, oh, to, just... you're meant to microwave your onions um, after chopping them because it removes some of the flavour and it makes them less tart. Ah. Is that the right word? Sure. Okay. So if you do have a microwave, we recommend doing that. Yes, but we don't own a microwave. So instead, we just skip the final. So there we go, I've put onions on the garlic bread. What do we do next? Do you uh, want to slice the olives or are we doing just hot olives? Uh, um, hot olives. Yeah. Olives. Okay, so pepperonis. You, are you can do the others. Okay. You want to. Just pick them up, sprinkle them on. That's perfect. Good work. <laughs> so Jack's going to put the pepperonis on and I'm going to find the olives. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. So what do we do with the olives? Just also sprinkle them on. Also sprinkle them on. Whole. Um, well, that's up to you. I'm thinking maybe half. I'm thinking maybe you should chop them. Like that. That's better. Oops. So I'm just breaking them in half roughly. Lengthways, because that's fun. And also Jack has a chopping board in his hand. So chopping them with a knife would be difficult. There we go. How many of these are we using? That's up to you as well. Okay. But this says half a cup. So it's basically a kind of throw it all on recipe, but make sure that you've got some of all of everything on every piece of garlic bread. Um, half a cup of olives, by the way. Half a cup. But if you want more, you can obviously add more. I mean, I like olives, so. I'm very, if you don't like olives, obviously don't even put them on. If you're vegetarian, miss out the pepperoni. A very simple fix. Yeah. yeah. You know, we, we are in the wrong places here because you're doing this one and I'm doing that one. Yeah, there's a lot of pepperoni here. That's good. There we go. I'm trying to get a piece from the store. Throw some at me there. You've uh, got six pieces, not that. Like no, it keeps <laughs> falling off. <laughs> Keep that piece on that one. So yeah, just have a little check when you've done it. Make sure that there's some of everything all over it. And then lots of cheese on the back. Lots of cheese. And it will, melt, it will melt together and make it so you can pull it apart. Ah, excellent work. So, oops. So much pepperoni. I do have a lot of cheese because I accidentally carried on with grating. So good. <laughs> then just throw a bit of pepperoni on top. Oh, well, why not, eh? Do you know what? I think this is going to be really good. Yes. Excellent breakfast. The phone is recording, right? The phone is recording. I'd be hilarious if it wasn't. Okay, it is. There. So I've, I've garlic cheese, no cheese for garlic bread, garlic for cheese. And now we are going to magic these into the oven for uh, 15 minutes. Okay, so we're going to magic these into the oven and yes. we'll be back with less mess. Ready? One, two, three. three. Ooh, so I have a confession to make. Massive. Yeah. So we accidentally didn't turn the camera on when we did this. However, so what's supposed to go on this recipe that we didn't put in it? So you're meant to have pizza sauce. Yes. Mixed into the oven. And yeah. We forgot. We completely forgot. So what we did, which you didn't see, which is probably a good thing, <laughs> is we took all the toppings back off of our garlic bread that we just so carefully put on. Yeah threw some pizza sauce on the top and then put all the toppings back on and put it in the oven. What you need to do... Which is why there's a mess there. Yes. What you need to do <laughs> Okay, is... so when you get to the onion cooking step, you are meant to... Caramelise your onions and then... So yes, it says cook the onions 
for 10 minutes until lightly golden brown and sticky. We did that bit. And then remove from the heat and stir in the pizza sauce. We didn't do that bit. Two thirds of a cup. So two thirds of a cup of pizza sauce or passata into your onions and then spread the yeah. onions with the pizza sauce all over your garlic bread before adding the rest of your toppings. Which as may not turn do. out exactly as planned. Anyway, we're going to magic this mess away and hopefully by the time we finish we will magic the pizzas back. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pull apart pizza bread. Yes. Um, we have one more thing to go on it. What is it? Rocket. This rocket. is optional. If you don't like rocket, we you no. probably shouldn't put it on. All of it is optional. Similar, yeah, I mean, just put whatever you want on it, honestly. Just the pizza. Even the pizza sauce is optional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, okay, so we're just going to sprinkle a bit of rocket on top to make it look nice. That's literally it. Yep. Looks good. So, um, I don't know if you can see that, so what we're going to do is um, put a picture in that. And we're going to try it. You ready? Wait. Okay. Uh, we'll try the same one. Try the same one. Yeah. Same. Okay. Okay. So it's very hot, and also so is the. Okay. Oh. Be careful. This is good. Ha ha hot! As in try not the same heat, the same heat for the next picture of the other one. Maybe that makes sense. Okay, um. Shall I say this one? Oh, cheese fell. Right, ready? It's hot. Ready? Ready? It's really hot. Is it nice? Too hot. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely taste the caramelized onion. I really like that. Oh, it's got nothing on it. <laughs> it's too hot. Really good though. Can't beat it. Yeah, so, thanks for watching. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please don't forget to like this video. That really helps us. Comment, we do love your comments. Um, well, even if it's how terrible our cooking is, we don't mind. Um, <laughs> comment what you'd like us to make next. You know, we're happy to try anything even if we do it terribly and subscribe because you know the more subscribers we get the better to be honest and then um click the little bell because like i've lost my little bell on the stickers so it might not be here but click the little bell and it will disappear um and the like button and the like button and everything else just you know give this video some love and we love you back thank you very much and we shall see you next time